Hi, I'm Nick Poole. I'm from the Foundation for Arable Research Australia and um, I've just been speaking at the Adelaide Advisor Update, the GRDC Adelaide Advisor Update. And I've been talking with Hugh Warwick about uh, management of a uh, net form of net blotch and Septoria criticide blotch. And the principal message that uh, both you and I have been putting across is that effectively these two diseases are much more difficult to control than diseases such as rust, particularly when it comes to actually looking at the use of fungicides. And we're very fortunate, we're going to have new fungicides hopefully enter in the marketplace that can help us with controlling these diseases but it's incredibly important that we look after them because unlike the rust, there's lots of evidence that these fungicides can be affected by pathogen resistance. And this has already happened in different parts of the world in Europe. So what do we do about diseases, these necrotrophic diseases, such as net blotch, such as septoria, when it comes to using fungicides? The first thing is to remember that the fungicides that you're using need to be used as part of an integrated disease management package, an IDM package. And the reason for that is that fungicides alone aren't going to do the job. So wherever possible, whilst we have these new fungicides, make sure that you're thinking about the other things that you could be doing. So what are those IDM? measures that we can adopt? What are those things that we can use the fungicides with something else to reduce our disease pressure? Many of them you may have heard previously talked about, things like picking varieties that have good genetic resistance. Try and not adopt those that are very, very susceptible. Where you are forced into compromises, particularly with things like septoria, Remember that early sowing, for example, with a number of these necrotrophic diseases like septoria, like yellow leaf spot in many ways, are exacerbated when we sow earlier. So sowing date becomes a lever that you can pull to reduce your disease pressure. The other one is obviously stubble management. This septoria, um, net blotch, largely stubble borne um, and therefore stubble management can be a factor. But we have to balance that against other needs that we might have in the farming system for retaining some of our stubble. So weighing up some of these different measures before we even use a fungicide is really important. We've had a great example just this last year of the importance of, say, grazing in an early sown wheat crop in the high rainfall districts of the south as regards grazing, reducing our septoria criticide blotch. That's just one example of how you can perhaps use less fungicide on your crop but achieve the same results.